Hi, welcome to my video. Um, in it I'm going to show you how you can use a Japan proxy to access um, websites and media sites that are normally only accessible to um, people based in Japan. Uh, now the reason I've, I'm doing this is I've had a few people ask me about um, different Japanese websites and there's quite a lot that you get blocked if you're not actually in Japan. What happens is these websites look up your IP address, so if I'm in the UK <clears throat> they'll look and I'm see I'm in the UK and they, they won't allow me access um, for a variety of reasons. There's quite a lot of um, education sites, banking sites, anime sites and um, the one I'm going to show you today is um, a radio site that's got lots of Japanese radio um, but it, it radio station is uh, streaming but it won't let me access it because I'm I'm in the UK. Okay, uh, now the, the site I've got here is called Radico JP, and you can see when I try and access it, it sees I'm in um, the United Kingdom, and it gives me the, this little message. <coughs> and it says, you can't listen to the radio because you're outside the region. Um, it's a sort of local service, and it's only uh, um, supplied to Japanese people. Okay, but there's a lot of Japanese students who like to listen to these radio stations who are um, studying abroad or working abroad or stuff like that. Um, so it's it's great to be able to um, access these. Now, how do you do it? Right, well, first of all, I am going to show you that you just need a simple little tool. Um, I'm just going to uh, uh, cancel my session here before I show you. Um, it's sometimes worth clearing the browsing data if you've tried to access a site uh, because it keeps little cookies there and to remember who you are. Okay, I'm going to show you how you can get a Japanese IP address quite simply using a program called Overplay. Now Overplay is a little um, uh, piece of software that allows you access to um, a network of fast proxy and VPN servers. Okay, um, it just sits in your taskbar um, and it gives you access to loads of different servers all over the place, everywhere from Australia, UK, Denmark, France, Greece, loads and loads of them to Japan. We've got here. So to access that site, I need to set myself a Japanese IP address, and I need to do that using one of the Japanese servers. So I just click through this menu, I run overplay, collect, connect. <coughs> I should say that this is a private service. You have to pay a small subscription fee. It's only a couple of bucks, but um, there is a cost to it. Right, so now it's uh, assigning an IP address. And this Tokyo server will sit between me and every website I visit. Everybody now will think I am based in Japan. Okay, so if I start Chrome up, um, the first thing you'll notice is Google redirects me to the Japanese version of Google because it, it's looked at my IP address and said, ha, ah, he's in Japan, I'll give him the Japanese version. Okay, and let's go to Radico JP. Uh, well, I'm not sure if that's what it's quite what it's called. <laughs> and we try and connect this time. And last time we got um, blocked, we get that little message. This time you can see we've got all the um, uh, radio stations there and you can stream any of the content just like you were if you were in Tokyo or somewhere else in Japan. Um, it works perfectly. Um, when you finish you can disconnect the uh, VPN by just starting the tool and clicking disconnect and then you'll go back to your um, normal IP address. So for instance if you wanted to access um, a different server in um, maybe the US, you could pick a US server, uh, Canadian, etc. Okay, so you just pick which IP address you need, or if you're happy with your, your own one, just using content in the country you're in specifically, that's, you just leave it. It also protects your connection, it encrypts it, and um, keeps it completely secure. So it's great for traveling, and especially when you're using unsecured Wi-Fi, and um, unfamiliar Wi-Fi rather. Um, there are other ways of doing this. There is a cost to this, as I said. You can find a few free proxy servers, Japanese ones, on the internet. It is extremely time-consuming and they're pretty slow, but you can do it if you search in places like proxy.org and have a look at the latest Japanese servers. You, you have to do it every time you connect because they don't last, rarely last longer than an hour or so. 
The other method you can use is Tor, um, which is uh, uh, another program. It's quite difficult to configure, but you've, what you need to do is configure an exit node that's in Japan. So the last um, uh, computer on the network you connect to. Again, you've got to be careful. It's not very fast and it's quite difficult to configure, but it will work. It will work on Radico JP. I have tried it. Uh, this is the cheap, the easy way and the fast way, but okay, it depends on being able to pay the subscription. Okay, well, I'm going to finish there. Um, I hope that's um, been of some help to somebody looking for a, a Japanese proxy. And thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.